Good evening. Um, Scott here, back with another devlog on Twisted Turbo. Um, it's 1st of January. Uh, Happy New Year. Um, it's about uh, almost 20 past uh, 11 uh, at night. Um, always always get good to get some game dev done late at night. Um, I decided to get rid of the weird background. It was kind of lagging out a little bit. I noticed in the last video, so it's fine. Um, how am I doing? Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, it's been a bit of a rough week, um, or a rough couple of days. Um, anxiety is there, um, but the project's helping. Uh, I won't lie. Um, trying to trying to use a project to kind of put my energy in and really kind of helping with that. Um, I guess that's just me, and I'm kind of I'm kind of grateful that my brain kind of takes negative emotions and can make them productive. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's. There are there's been a couple couple of difficult days, but um yeah it's a new year, um so where am I at? You know a couple of days after where I last kind of did a little devlog. Um I think I made one, um today Saturday, um so I think I made one maybe on Thursday. Um less rambling, me kind of getting on with stuff. What have I done? Um well, in terms of kind of gameplay, um I've kind of changed the camera angle. I've kind of played around with some bits. Um, I don't know, it just kind of uh, seems out right. I've disabled the turret for now. It's working on vent tick, like I said last time. It's it's not great. What's this? Um, this is a chest. So I worked out some interactables. Um, so there we go. We spawn an item into the world. That item's the body kit. So if we go over and pick that up, there we go. Uh, we can see up the top, body kit common, uh, common being its rarity, HP max increased by 100. So it takes our HP up to 200. So if we come into this, we can see... We, all the way, I know that's really tiny, I will do a little zoom in, but we could start healing up our little car guy there. So we're going up to 130, and we can take damage as well, so 120. So what did I really achieve during this? Because that, that uh, yes, that's not a big win, but actually there's a lot going on in the background here. So um, there are components for the health, uh, there are components for the how the damage works, there's components for the item stats. All the stats are in there now, and... I've got to do the maths to work that out and how that's going to look. Um, this is a very rough form of it. I have spent more time uh, writing more notes. Um, I, I've discussed this very briefly with uh, with you folks, but I, you know, I live by this. I've worked out like what the player cars are now and their abilities. I've detailed bosses. Um, I have started write, writing out the items. Um, and it's going pretty well, pretty well. I think um, I'm going to spend a little bit more next week working that out and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've decided with the weapon as well, it's going to be firing from a cone. I think that will kind of create some inaccuracy, and I think it's not bad. I'm um, discussing with a dear friend of mine, uh, Mr. Saunders, I'll refer to him as, um, this idea of while well, the gimbal the weapon will kind of make it a little bit easier, is there a downside that the player skill will get ignored? I don't know um so i will be playing around with making a custom shooting i think i might tie it to the mouse and the mouse will kind of follow where the gun turret goes and um yeah i, I it'll, it'll have a little orb kind of similar and if, if anything in that orb bullets will hit that thing in there i think it will be probably maybe like a hundred unit big orb um but i need to work that out on how to get the mouse to kind of track the turret in a way and get that to rotate nicely um yeah, uh, things are things are getting there. So, what what's this mean for me right now? Well, we're spawning one item with a chest. Fantastic, absolutely great news to me. What do I need to realistically do now? Um, well, I need to do the following. I need to work out the probability. I need to work out the math of what these things add. Um, it, it's not going to be super complicated to begin with, but uh, that's something I need to work out. Um, Looking at other games, um, it's about like normally you got a 50% chance if it's a small chest, you're getting a common item. I think what I want to work out first is do the common and uncommon items. So 50% uh, for a common item, let's say like 30% uh, for an uncommon item. And let's say just for, I, I know I put rare, I, I've written a bunch of like rare and ultra rare. I think I might keep rare in. I think I'm getting rid of ultra rare, um, just because my brain is, it's already kind of just like, oh man, this is like a lot of items already, I want this to be a vertical slice, so let's kind of cut, 
cut the garbage down a little bit and let's just go common, uncommon, rare, legendary, um, jury rigged item and glitched items. That's still like a lot of item categories um, to work through, but I, I think that's going to be fun, you know, and we can always come back to Ultra Rare later. But anyway, so let's say like we need to add up to 50. So again, 20% for a legendary, 30% for an uncommon, 50% for a common. So I just need to work out like the, the math there and work out how that kind of works in Unreal. But then that's our chest sorted. That's our basic chest. And then we can just modify those probabilities um, in our child classes. So honestly, in a couple of days, I've done quite a bit. And, you know, like I said, the anxiety is there. The imposter syndrome is creeping in real bad. But keep your head held up high. Um, you, you can do it. And, it you know, believe in yourself. You know, if, you, if you're struggling at all, you know, talk to friends um write stuff down um and yeah to me and to to people who eventually might watch this keep going uh you can do this um proud of you so far um yeah this is already a six minute video and i want to keep these short so um i'll catch you on the flip side and um hopefully we've got chess probability going uh yeah i'll see you in a couple of days